And hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And we're going to continue our, our, our look into the Aberdeen system today. We're going to, you know, first time I've ever been to Aberdeen was, you know, the last video. And, uh, and happy Thanksgiving Day to all our American players. Which remember to give thanks. No cheating, no mining, no swearing. And lots of exploration. I'm assuming I should really check the long range scanners for anybody else in Aberdeen. No, but we do have someone in New London, so they could decide to say, hey, what's up with that? So we have a lot of, of space here to, to, to look into. Let us head south and just get some stuff on the map here. Go to Doc. Magellan. That's a pretty big jump, as I recall. I Do I even have Magellan on the map? Let me... is, that a, is that another new system? Oh, here, here's Magellan. Yeah, that's a pretty long jump. That will be terribly useful. Well, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to... Again, I'm trying to really build the map on this particular ship. Let's land at the border station. Just to get it, all of its uh, sale stuff, all its prices loaded. As you can see, it's actually this, you know, the same silver color as the ship, but this is the the lighting affects everything, which is kind of nice. Anything funky going on here? Nope, just the standard prisoners. Prisoners? The police agencies of the house systems are constantly bringing in criminals, criminals suspected malefactors during their patrols. Over time, their holding cells become overcrowded, and these prisoners need to be transported to the appropriate prison centers. Trusted freelancers and bounty hunters are often hired to reform this function, as the prisoners are locked in stasis anyway, and only law enforcement has the codes to release them. This frees up police personnel to maintain the control of the spaceways. This is one of your best sale points for it. Well, that's a whole other thing. I've, I've never seen that before. I've been doing a lot with this game. Want to buy some prisoners? Got to sell some prisoners? Okay, let's get this 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 connection to Magellan on the map. All right, we don't need that. Doc. I think those are missiles flying destroyed. off into the distance. Wish! Now oh, we're going to pop right back out. We're not going to explore Magellan so much. Well, that's a nice shortcut. You have to go through all the other systems. Oh, yeah. This will be an elaborate docking maneuver. Punch up the turret mode here. And There's a lot of pew-pew going on. Yeah, let's see. The hold is empty. Yeah, no one's going to bother us. Back to Aberdeen. I'm under fire. Yeesh. Yeah, actually, back to normal, uh, normal mouse flight. 
patrol paths. This is an odd one. I expect to be able to go around the bottom, but like, what's out there? I thought it was just a random patrol path, maybe. I mean, there's going to be dead ends. I mean, you know. Hey, wouldn't it be good to know that for you? you won't, don't, don't drive out there. There's nothing going on. Now, in about another 2K or so, if there is anything there, it should light up. No, nothing. Nothing really going on on this end, I'll bet. Yeah, it just links up. There may be something up here. And these are both, it almost looks like there's something, if you, if you extend out to that point. Go to. Is there another jump hole? Could be. As we fly through the gold space. I think I've mentioned before I love the look of this ship. Look, there's this docking bay on the bottom. Docking bay, the cargo bay doors. Again, it looks like it was built out of Legos. I'll bet you somebody has built this ship out of Legos somewhere along the way. I might work on that at some point if I can g gather my Legos and most of them have been appropriated by my kids. So probably that would be an elaborate thing to do. But we'll have to we'll have to see what goes on. I'm not really one for Lego build videos. It doesn't really not something I've done before, but you never know. Okay, so this really doesn't have much going on, I don't think. Yeah, we're within 10k, so we can waypoint oh, over just to see if there's anything at the point where they had the two lines of meat. But I think in the, the long run, let's just now cut a straight path back to, let's go through here. Through this, no, let's not do best off. They're all waypoints. Let's put a waypoint through there. And that should Go to. give us, wow, everything's so bright. Change the view there a little bit. And we'll have pretty well cleared up this part of the map. You should see these close up as we get closer. Yeah, there you go. We complete the... Which we call it there. Is that mark already? It should be. Way off in the distance. Let's see. To my that side. Yeah, that's gotta be Aberdeen and Magellan. You can see it's that far away. I 
it's interesting interesting in this game the draw distance is a mixed bag is that because as you can see it doesn't really do very well with the, the asteroids they kind of just spontaneously spawn in front of you and come in and go away and But as far as the the hard fix stuff, you can see that forever. So it's a, it's an interesting mixed bag there. Some compromises I'm sure made for processing power of the time. Yeah, this is is from 2003. We're talking about a nearly 20 year old game. Ping ping. I don't know if there's anything right there. Do you want to go down and then out and then go across just to see what's on the other side? Or so I can't imagine they did something where the system's all on one side of the, of the star. Like everything's here. Let's cut across the axis. Go to a long burn. Which means, you know, I have to come up with something to talk about. That was really t something to talk about. That's something that really was part of this game, you know, back in the day. Is you'd hang out with some people and you'd be doing stuff like this, and you'd just use it like a chat room. We'd be in Teamspeak back then, which was the reason I couldn't record a lot of videos because Teamspeak and Fraps didn't get along. Now we probably use Discord and uh, and OBS, and it wouldn't be a problem. to get back on the forum and see if there's anybody doing system battles. Those were, you know, it's quite the experience. But anyway, on long trips like this, like, you just, you wouldn't even notice the time pass because you'd be talking about all kinds of stuff. Especially late at night. Rambler was famous for keeping people up. Like, Rambler, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I have to go to bed. Well, just stay on a couple more minutes. I, but think about this. And then you take me 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's like, oh. Now I'm wrecked. Because, see, not only was Rambler... Not only is Rambler from Australia, but he's... I, I forget. Does he still have the record for... The, the unofficial record for being online like 37 hours straight or something like that. It was something really... So you got hackers out here. Oh, that's neat. That fits with the whole Magellan thing. Do we have anything? Oh, there's a Magellan jump hole! Bunch of stuff while we're here talking so nicely. Let us check this out. We need to get that on the map. All these connections to Magellan. Are we Jellin like Magellan? Of course, you, you wouldn't really do, wouldn't necessarily be all this. I guess there'd be some there'd be some exploration, especially early on. But a lot of times, you know, the the long runs would be coming from you know, grinding different uh, trade routes. Especially before the, the really high paying missions came into play. Dog. Back when I first started, I was playing vanilla GTA, so we didn't have a lot of the, all this mod stuff in it. 
And, you know, you couldn't get this ship. Here, here we go. Let's got that on the map. We'll go through Magellan at some point. Where's the hole? Oh, it's up there. Now. Okay. It's green. Plunge into the green hole. Transformers! Da 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 Okay, anybody getting that? Okay, it's a little 1986 reference there. Boo! Okay, where were we going? Still there. Okay, we still got the map. Go to. You'll map out everything for about 10 clicks around you, I believe. So if there's something 10k this way, it'll still come up on the radar screen. Otherwise, you have to cut across and... The only thing that could be out here would be Rex, I think. Well, it could be anything, but I mean... Usually, you put the, uh... You put the patrol paths in because you want someone to find things, so... But do we really have a patrol path now, do we? Hmm... Could they have built everything on one side of the... No, no, we're going to come out here and then we're going to cut up this way. Yeah, the patrol paths may arc over this way somehow to something up here. Gunned down by an NPC. I guess it happens. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check this out. Wait, point one, go two. And I have to go on mute just for a minute because I hear somebody calling me in the background. And I'm back. Alrighty then. Hope that wasn't too long a wait here. Okay. But we have more stuff to look at. I think we think we saw this end. Let's pop our way up here. Oh, we'll continue shoot. our way around here, running through the patrol routes. This end is, that's getting close to the uh, edge of the the solar sphere here. You can't go too far. You can't fly into the sun. And not like just right up to the sun. Like anywhere around here is probably going to kill you. So. Now do you see anything? If there's a base or something, that'll come up. I think those are hackers. Oh, Molly. Similar. Similar ships. Or do the lane hackers use the daggers? I think it might could be the daggers they use. It's looking like this is just a juncture. So do we... Take the cut in? Yeah, let's dig in. Go to...
And this is just what you do. You fly around and discover the map. And after a while, I mean, you know, when you've been playing the game for... How long have I been playing the game? Online. Let's see. Let's, let, let's not count just playing the, the start game. because I, I think I got this game in 2004. But I believe I've been online since January of 05. So January of 05. That's 16 years. So when you've been playing the game for 16 years, you know most of the systems. Although some of the stuff, you know, I haven't played the game regularly in a couple years. So it does start to fade. Your brain says you don't need this anymore. You can remind yourself when you get in the game. Here's new stuff to remember. Nothing here? I'm really kind of surprised. Just, uh, okay, just other patrol paths. Spiking outward. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zigzag between those two endpoints. Before we fly into the star. And then we're going to bounce right up to here. Go to. It could be that maybe there's just rocks on this side. I mean, I don't know. Don't forget, this was designed almost certainly for for the potential for system battles. So this could just be the system battle side of, side of the map. Okay, we should be seeing something by now. If there's a, an interesting thing at the end of this. Yeah. Let's zigzag back. Zigzag. So we've got three people on. Kepler, New London, and Aberdeen. Okay. I think there is a way of, of paying a lot of money and starting a brand new character with a full map. But it, it starts you over. Completely. So what people do is they would load the money into the bank, load it onto a new character, and then go from there. No, nothing here. Nothing to see here. Let's split the difference. And go a little bit so we can get... I'll look at both of those things. It could be just patrol paths through the rocks. I'm surprised they're not finding something. You'd think there'd be something built out here. Like I'm expecting this to close up to here. Okay. Well, at least... Oh, there's a base! We have found something! Valeta Base! Alright, what's the story on Valeta Base? Set your course. Clear all waypoints. Okay, so it's, a, it's an asteroid base. 
very similar to the one in the Omicron Beta. Cool, a new base. Who who owns it? We'll have to find out. Molly's! The Molly's own this one. See that's you know the, the criminal bases are always kinda good. First of all, what chips you got can you get here? A wolfhound, a stiletto, or a mule. None of which are as good as what we got, but I mean it's nice to know. <coughs> Any cool equipment? Double and dusters. Forget if that was any good. That's a neutron gun. That's not bad. It's a pretty good amount of damage for, for what it is. Um, what kind of shields do they have here? Not that I can mount a shield on this ship. They only have the Star Killer. They don't have the the big one. Shields might not be coming up because of the ship I have. I'm sure you can get them. Commodities. Gold. You know, we only th we don't need gold right now. That's a mediocre price for it too. See any special news in the? Sometimes there's some custom news items. Sometimes not. No news. No news bar. Okay, well. Independent Miners Guild. No one wants to. I guess some people want to play, but nah. So if you want to do some Molly Rail playing, there you go. You can run missions. I wonder what, okay, do they have high paying missions? I should have checked for high paying missions. Not that we're going to do any, but. Doc. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. That didn't come up when we first docked. That's interesting. One thing you could do is you could probably mine gold out here if you're in that kind of a frame of mind. And sell it. If we go back to the bar, we won't pick on any of the people here. We're just going to click the main mission board. Not bad. Not huge, but not bad. Medium paying missions. Here's a gold fleck. Okay. So which fork do we take? Can we take the left fork and then zig bag out? I'm guessing we're, we're probably going to find this just closes up the patrol paths. And, you know, I haven't been Mo Hacks. Like, more hacks? Hacks? Hopefully, not hacks. I've never seen anybody, I mean, I like to say never. We've we've seen stuff where you thought people were doing things like adding a vertical strafe or something like that to it, you know, true mod, but nothing, you know, I, I don't think I've ever really seen any kind of god mode kind of stuff like you'd see elsewhere. It's possible, it's possible back in the days when things were hot and heavy, people were cheating and we didn't realize it.
Yeah, that's just cutting across. Zigzag. Go to. No wrecks yet. That's an interesting thing. Where do you see a wreck? Especially out here in the rocks. But we've got this pretty well mapped out now. So you have to start thinking, where do we go next? Let's close, let's pop the whole outer side of this. Oh, we look at the, uh, potentials for the long range. Next thing here. All right, where are we? We're here. We've been to Cambridge. You can, you can do Magellan, but it kind of takes us out of the flavor of the theme. We want to do all the Bretonian stuff first. Cambridge has been inadequately surveyed. Let's check out Cambridge next. Probably next video. We have a little more to do here. I mean, the nice thing about this is there's a good chance there's stuff here that I haven't found that you might find. It's worth doing. Every time I, I go into it, I feel like I'm talking about the larger, more existential things about why I like this game, and I'm just enjoying flying around. Checking things out. That looked like a battle group. Yeah. Bretonian gun group. But gun group? Gunboat, Bretonian gunboat. Get something going off this way. See, that's the, the game kind of makes you fly up here and then you go around this way. And it makes you explore. What's in this in middle of the zone here? Probably just pass around, but you never know. And you gotta watch. I could be flying along here and suddenly a minefield. You never know. We've seen that. Molly's. There's a lot of traffic out here. Demon, I see men. I don't want to end up a corpse before my time because you were daydreaming. <coughs> okay, are we within now? We're still within 20k. So something could still pop up here. I'm going to continue the zigzag. I'm going to hit this point and then grab this point and then head back straight across. And then bang down, bang, and then probably go from here straight to the Cambridge jump gate. So that's going to be our path. Well, I didn't expect it to go further out. That's almost certainly... I'll be led.
It's only 17k. And when we get within 10k, that's our scanner range. Oh, a little bit of a poor connection note there. Okay, we see it by now. There's nothing there. Take the hook back down. Whoa, wait a minute. Yes, there is. Battleship Vanguard? What's this? Well, I guess I would have seen that if I hadn't been looking at the map. Battleships are very cool because there's a lot of interesting things you can use we get there. B-58 Hustlers among them. Of course, this is a Bretonian. Have to see. Might just have the standard very heavy fighter. For the Brits. Isn't it even just a, a very heavy... Is it a VHF or is it an HF? I forget. I think, you know, there might only be three VHFs. Oh, they don't have ships! Keeping it simple. The Brits don't have that great as far as sky rails, yeah. Dissolver, class 7, yeah. It's... Every base, by the way, has the battleship stuff as part of the mod. For the simple reason that you can, you know, the, the basically the admins have to set your battleship up. You can't dock anywhere. You get one dock point unless they move it for you. It's the limitations of the game. So if you were to need guns, then, you know, it'd have to be there. A little bit higher paying. A worthy location. Imagine dressing up your battleship with, like, actual gargoyle. That, that's something that we're actually doing. Get those doors out of my way. Ba boom! <laughs> up hostile. No okay, let's let's contacts. make sure we're not in the path of the the main battleship guns. Normally, in the video game itself, oh, when you play vanilla, the battleship guns they're they're not that powerful. They're not really realistic. In this game, they're realistic. And when you put this mod in, it's a one-shot deal. You get hit by a battleship. You're gonna toast your, your shields in the first go, and I don't have shields, and then the rest of it. That's an interesting side loop there. Go to. What were these guys doing when they built this? This is, this is a modded entirely uh, fan-built kind of thing. Okay, here, what we'll do... Well, that just connects there. We don't really have anything. 6.6k, we would have seen it. So unless there's something out here, we probably are, are set to uh, cut back. This might just be another patrol path going to the other thing, so we're, we're just, we can probably cut down the middle here and then head for Aberdeen. Head for Kenver Cambridge, or the other, the other uh... It branches out further! Oh, I expected that to tuck in! What the heck is out here? That's an odd shape for the patrol path. I mean, I, can't, I guess it could just arc out around the whole outside without ever seeing anything, but...
Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, some should have showed up. We should actually even be seeing the, uh... There's another... Another Crusader and another gunboat. That's the end of the... It just goes out here for, for nothing. Doesn't even continue on. Huh. Okay. We're cutting back here. Go to... Cutting back against the grain now. Three, straight through these points, get out to this point, and then we're going to head out system. Or should we head bang? This cutting across here, you're looking at. You might be running into. I'm going to guess these just kind of link up, and we should see something here. If we cross the 46k here. So what we probably should do, if we really want to be truly into covering the system and mapping it out, is go to here, so that we can see what's going on with all this, cut across to here, go bang up to here, and then go across. So we're at the point where if uh, if this is all there is, that's a lot. It's a, it's a good uh, it's a good deal. And all right, we've got. Did that just pop up? No, that's what we're following. Nothing really coming in yet. We got another twenty three. Twenty three k. Give or take. Pretty quiet. Now, when I'm in the more main systems, the ones I've been in before, there may be, some, you know, a few more stories to tell, really. Okay, I didn't expect that. So, which way do we go? Go You're gonna be on the mic, hon. I was getting my son up for stuff and things. I may have to set this to, uh, to autopilot here and just let it cruise out to what looks like it's something else that might be up in here. If nothing shows here, alright, that just connects. Alright, let's, let's turn it back around and plunge deep into the middle over here for a minute. Pardon me real quick while I do just a couple other things as I go off mic. That's the one, again, another great thing about this game. It's a game you can play when you're going to be interrupted by real life. But I shall be back.
Objective reached. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. What's that ahead? That's just Aberdeen and Cambridge. Okay. So we've drifted through there. I think this is just patrol pass. Nothing really coming up. Let us let us leave something. What this is a, there is a, a kind of a locus here though. That's telling. Let's let's cut down here. Go to. Again, maybe nothing. And after this, we truly are just going to go out to Cambridge here. And find a place to sleep. This should close up that patrol path. Maybe that's all it'll do. But usually when you have four of them coming together at one place, there's something. Not this time, but usually. Oh, wait, what the hell is... What the hell is this? Unknown. It's just a giant dome. It's not exactly on the patrol path. Maybe you'll you'll name it once we get within 10k. That's big. Arena arena dome? The arena dome? It's not letting me dock. And there's a race course here. But why can't I why can't I dock? Because you can fly into it. What have you guys done? Let's cut engines and, and go to turret mode. What is this place? I mean, there's race gates. Obviously, this is a... Uh, well, nothing's obvious here. Let's zip out. So I guess if you want to set up some player versus player racing. We. This is something you can do. Well, was this an interesting construct? I did not expect this. Check it out. You have to, it's, there's a tight turn in here. Like a chicane. Alright, this is cool. This is some cool stuff. The arena dome. Well, I'm glad I took the took the little side trek here to find that. And there it is on the map. Really close to where the sun is, too. No, we're not doing it that way. No, no, no. They're all waypoints. Switch our course for the gate. Go, Go to. to. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Two wrong buttons. Just try to look behind me. Oh, this is the turret. There is a button just to look behind you, but. The Arena Dome. Imagine, imagine if you're trying to do PvP inside there with some small fighters. 
Now that will be fascinating. That is a big structure. Wow. And all this is probably explained on the on the forums. I'll have to look at that. It's been so long since I've been on the forums. Getting back into the rocks. Ping, ping. So I don't know. Should I keep doing these as far as just do all the systems first before I do anything else? Probably not going to do that. I'm probably going to mix things up a little bit, gang. This is just how I felt like playing today. So we're just going to... We're going to do some freelancer videos as far as when I'm playing it. Can't guarantee the frequency, but... That's the truth about pretty much any of my gaming videos. We're just going to do things as as they happen. We're going to enjoy ourselves. And we'll see what we do next time. But for right now, we're going to take this, you know, as far as this ship is concerned, we're going to take this to Cambridge. And settle in. We're taking the gate, so we should be able to jump right it right to a uh, a base here. You don't have to dock at a base at the end of your day. You can just leave the game, and it will leave your your ship. Basically, you'll put it into hyperspace, and then you'll just reappear when uh, whenever you come back. Terrible, useful sometimes when someone's trying to kill you. Dock. Although it would appear the server is in, in a time of peace where there isn't roving gangs of people trying to blast the crap out. At least not on a Friday morning. They have taken the day off so they can possibly purchase a car. Because my, my loyal steed, my 2002 Taurus, has finally succumbed to the... The dangers of Pennsylvania winters. That it won't be inspected anymore. Runs like a top, which is really kind of the sad thing. But I guess, you know. It is what it is. Runs like a top. Spins like, I don't know. Is that right? Runs like a... Dog. Runs runs really well. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm mixing up my, my euphemisms. That's the kind of thing you'll get on an early Friday morning. Might as well land at Cambridge, right? Probably better hotels, you know? It's, that's, that's part of this game. This part of this game is imagining all the stuff that goes on when you're on... You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do when you're head here, you know? It gives you just enough to fill in the blanks. Okay, we're going to want to change direction here now. Whew. If you're crashing into the planet, you do die. But you can't land anywhere on the planet. You have to land at the mooring fixture, so... I was recall there was an elaborate uh, explanation for this that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Part of an orbital elevator system invented by a gear technology use of super strong something something something. We can, we can pause the video. We'll, we'll look at that another time and have a whole conversation about the, the docking system.
And here we are. You get info. They'll tell you all about the uh, the planet. What's for sale? And there you go. Whoosh. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.